White River Junction and just a little station tour. That was the former uh, Railway Express office. And what I showed was the um, the old, old timey scale. So here is the, um, I don't know if they sell tickets here, but this was the, the ticket window at one time. I have a little, little sculpture here. Pretty nice uh, waiting room. Um, and we have uh, we have the destination board. And we're going to be on train. Oh God, fifty. 50, uh, 55. Yeah, 55. We're going to this train here at 11.37. It's running about 10 minutes late. Left St. Albans at 9.15. And we'll arrive New York at 6.25. Nice friends, we'll take a, a look outside. Got free books here. That's kind of a nice feature. If you don't have anything to read on the train. And we got a number of people uh, waiting for the the train to um what's well, heading to Washington. Uh, with a lot of intermediate stops in Vermont, one in New Hampshire, uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and uh, of course New York and down to Washington, D.C. So here's a glimpse of all the passengers waiting here. Uh, I tried to upgrade to get a business class just because coming up the train was very crowded and um, it looks like it's going to be crowded going back to um, a lot of people on the platform and a lot of uh, people from the Eclipse. And parked over here, we have um, a couple of diesel locomotives. Uh, the first one is uh, New England Central. And it's got 1995 Shortline Railroad of the Year. Uh, Realtex company. Pretty cool. The size of the, uh, the tank for the diesel. Diesel fuel. Yeah. New England Central. And behind it, we have Buffalo and Pittsburgh. I guess both of these are short lines. I'm not... Maybe they have the same owner. In the Operation Lifesaver um, sticker is on on this locomotive. So I like this. Uh, I like I like the livery on both of them. BPRR. So we're kind of at the end of the uh, the platform. It's a low level platform. Very old school. Very cool. And. Here's a view of this lo locomotive, GP38-2. Uh, my knowledge of locomotives is, is severely lacking. Um, so if you want to put any information in the comments, appreciate it. And as you can see, this, this is a junction station. So we have um, like a Y here. Very long platform, actually, if you follow the yellow line. This train will have, I think, six cars only. Um, at one time, this was probably a very busy junction. Um, there's a platform on this side of the station. It's it's not used now, but I, I can still see remnants of the, um, the yellow line to stand behind. And... Uh, we are in, uh, this is White River Junction Station, but the name of the town is, um, 
I'll put it in the notes, friends. And I just noticed something on this uh, side of this locomotive. They have zero injuries. I'm not sure what year that was, but um, you know, very safety conscious. And it says, our goal every day. Oh, our goal every day, zero injuries. And um, these diesel electric locomotives, um, you see the danger, 600 volts. So the, the diesel is not to um, drive the locomotive, but to generate electricity. And then the, uh, the motors are electric that drive the wheels. So it's kind of a nice, nice looking station complex is the waiting room and the, uh, the room that was the former railway express where those guys were, were, um, were showing me, um, this is a station and I'm not sure when it was built looking for a sign, but it's, it's nice. Um, And I have a feeling this is where we're going to be boarding. Uh, probably in the, in the middle of the train. That's how we got off. White River Junction. And let's just take a walk down to the um, to the, this end of the platform. Uh, there's no check baggage on this train, but this at one time there probably was. Um, one time I think this train went as far as Montreal, but it's been cut back to um, St. Albans, which is right on the border with Montreal. And this little thrift, this part of the station, they rent out and they have a little thrift shop. Yes, yes, the weather vane is uh, Boston and Maine Railroad? Or? Yeah, it's uh, J8. Okay. They came up here quite a bit. Uh huh. From Boston to here it was six hours. To do it on Amtrak, it is about the same. Interesting. What other railroad came through here? Um, you had Boston and Maine, Connecticut and Sumsic. You had CP, Maine, 